I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> All right. Hi, guys. Welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today, I will be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 124. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of each episode. So if you guys do want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. And for anyone out there who wants to read this and I have access to all my other readings for the month of June, it is available on patreon.com slash cktchaotic. Right now, I do have my two top tier membership out for free trial for seven days. Check it out. See if that's something that's for you. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, why are you just standing there? Oh, I'll prepare the bed for you, your majesty. Fine. I thought he'll try to bolster my reputation once I become an empress. But nothing has really changed. If this is how things are when it's only been a week... Wait... A, a week? <gasps> your... Your Majesty! That's the birth that His Majesty gifted Queen Navier. I heard that he was furious because that bird was sent back with a handful of feathers missing. Could it be that Queen Navier wasn't the one who did it? You. Your Majesty, I... Uh, <gasps> oh! How dare you pluck the feathers from His Majesty's bird! N -n no I was just trying to change the pillowcase. <gasps> this woman is psychotic. Your Majesty's, what's wrong? That woman tore the feathers from the His Majesty's bird, and as if that wasn't enough, she stuffed it in my pillowcase, although she could set me up. No, I was just... I was just wondering if someone else had put them there. Sc <gasps> uh <gasps> Did the former Empress order you to do this so she could frame me? Your Majesty. No, that's not true. My lady. <gasps> no. There is no point in asserting my innocence right now. I should just ask for forgiveness and explain the truth when things calm down. I, I apologize to your majesty. But please forgive me. It will never happen. In what? You want me to keep a two-faced snake like you around? Uh huh? Come with us. Your majesty, please have mercy. Your, your majesty, your majesty. What a shock that must have been. I'll bring you some calming tea. I don't need tea. Just burn those awful things. I want everything gone, including the pillow. <sighs> Please call for us right away if you need anything else, Your Majesty. <laughs> Boom. I'm amazed by the amount of power an Empress has. I can have someone removed with just a few words uttered in haste. Oh no, she's now realizing her power, her strength. And now as a person like her, who is like very uh, unstable ground, a little cuckoo, um, now she's going to use that as her, to her advantage since she has a year as an empress before she cut her title. <sighs> Maybe I should have played innocent. No. I needed to get rid of them anyway. Not just the feather, but the delice too, for stealing glances at his majesty. But what if she speaks badly of me once she's been casted out of the palace? <sighs> she looks very creepy here. The Remarried Empress, episode 124. I can understand why she might be on edge right now. 
what so what with Cosera having fed her poison and the nobles re ridiculing her recently but having them cut her tongue out is one step too far K rashta uh, your majesty she had them cut their tongue out your majesty did you hear what happened Yes, it must have been quite a shock. It was. I couldn't sleep a week last night because my stomach was in knots. Although... I think I remember you saying that the bird was already missing its feather when the emperor sent it back. What happened to its feathers? I don't know. <laughs> I simply brought the bird into my room when I saw it being returned from the West Palace. I didn't want it to get cold. Oh, um. Delice must have been working for the former empress. I think Delice got the feathers from her. And did this to frighten me. What if something like this happens again? I'm so scared, your majesty. I'm worried about the effects this might have on, on your body. I'll have the... Oh my god, I can't tell who's speaking. I'm worried about the effect this might have on your body. I'll have the kitchen prepare you some nourishing food, so come and dine with me in my chambers tonight. Pardon? Was he asking simply out of curiosity and not because he's suspicious of me? But his chambers are where that bird is. Thank, Thank you for the offer. But I'm afraid of my lack of sleep is catching up to me. I I don't think I can walk to the East Palace in my current state. I'm sorry. No. That's perfectly understandable. I should have been more considerate. I'll ask for the food to be sent to your room instead. Rest up. Human may lie, but a bird can probably recognize someone who harmed it. I planned to confirm my suspicion that way, but she refused. Two days before Navier's and Henry's wedding. Mm, oh, I just look at the scroll bar and I just realized that we only have a couple panels left, so we're not going to see it. Oh my god, there's more episodes to come for it. The Queen of the Western Kingdom's Palace. I think the Eastern Empire will send Duke Ryland Roth to... to Attend the wedding. Hmm. He's not a bad substitute. What do you mean? I then you include a personal message with the invitation because you wanted the emperor and em empress to come. Yes, but I have some business with him. Ugh. Episode fifty-five. The nerve of him to insult my queen! I'll fill his mouth with rocks and have him beg for mercy. Uh. Countess Jobert. What is it? I. Pardon me, your majesties. I received word that the emperor and empress from the Eastern Empire have arrived in the capital just now. So she couldn't walk all the way to Sylvatius' chamber, but somehow she's able to travel to the Western Kingdom. Hmm. How interesting. But if anything, I can already see her trying to plant a seed. Pretty much like uh, plant rumors and bad mouth, uh, you know, Navier and all, you know, because she's going to, I feel like she's going to get really close to the former queen, Krista. I'm just a hunch, but she's bad news. She's really bad news being there. <laughs> The Remarried Empress. 